it's Lauren. Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another vlog. So today's vlog is everything vacation. Um, everything as far as prepping for our vacation. We leave for vacation in, let me say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We leave for vacation in four days and I could not be more excited. I am just itching. Henry and I are just like itching for these days to bypass so we can be on a plane on somebody's beach in Jamaica. So really excited. Um, but yeah, so um, today actually I need to actually get my hair done. My hair is deep conditioning right now. I've had a deep conditioning since yesterday. Um, so in a little bit, I'm going to take this, I'm going to wash this out. And then um, later on, I got an appointment at five o'clock to get my hair braided, getting some knotless braids. And I'm going to someone that um, somebody recommended to me on Instagram. And so I'm pretty sure she's gonna do an amazing job. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that information later on when I go to get my hair braided. So really excited about that. I also want to um, start packing today. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the things that I'm gonna be packing. You I don't know, actually, I don't know when this video is going up before or after my vacation haul, but you've pretty much seen or will see um, what I'm packing for vacation, but I want to show you guys a little bit of the things that I'm packing for Anaya and just like showing you how I pack in general, um, traveling as a family and um, traveling during a pandemic and stuff like that. I feel like we've kind of gotten the hang of traveling as a family, and, you know, traveling with a baby and traveling during a pandemic. So there's that and then um also in this vlog i am getting a pedicure tomorrow it's gonna be a span of today and tomorrow um i got a pedicure appointment at the spa tomorrow which i'm excited about um and i did add on extra time to get the gel polish like they told me before so shouldn't be any problems with that I'm getting a pedicure and then tomorrow we also need to get COVID tested as well um, because you have to get a COVID test within three days of travel um, to a lot of different places but as specifically Jamaica gotta have that COVID test done not looking forward to that so that's what's pretty much on the agenda blow dry my hair show you guys my travel minis that I got show you guys how we're packing um, get my hair done, pedicure, COVID test. If you guys are excited for our upcoming travel vlogs, if you're excited about this video, then make sure you like this video right now. And if you're new to our channel, make sure that you go ahead and like this video as well and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the fun Jamaica vlogs. Okay, not to just like rant so much, but the last time we went to Jamaica, actually, I'm gonna look it up. The last time we went to Jamaica, those videos did so well, surprisingly. I don't know if it was because, I think actually I do know. A lot of people were getting married and having honeymoons at the resort that we stayed at last time. We had st stayed at Sandals Ocho Rios. And it's funny because we were there. We, the last time we were in Jamaica is because we were going to a wedding. And now we're in Jamaica again. Actually, every time that we have been to Jamaica is because of a wedding. The very first international trip Henry and I took was to Jamaica for his sister's wedding. That was in what, 2015? That was in like 2015, like a year into Henry and I dating. And then um, the next time I think we had went to Jamaica, yeah, the next time we went to Jamaica was just a few years ago, what, maybe three years ago when my brother got married and we were in Ocho Rios. And then this is our third time going and we'll be in Ocho Rios again for Henry's friend's wedding. So I am about to watch the new episode of The Shy because they released it early. So new season, I think this is, is this the final season? No, it's not the final season, but new season is out. About to watch this episode of The Shy and then I'm gonna pick the camera back up, show you guys my travel minis, uh, pack a little bit, blow dry and wash out my hair. So yeah, then we're gonna get into the fun stuff. So thanks for tuning in to this little rant, this all this blabbering and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, let me show you guys all of the travel stuff that I got the other day. All right, so I got out all of my travel minis. Let me show you guys what I got. So first I got the little um, baby lotion and baby, what is this called? <laughs> baby lotion and baby body wash. I typically don't, use Johnson & Johnson on Anaya, but these are the only ones that I can find in the travel size. I know that Baba Baby has a lot of travel size items for a lot of different brands, but we don't live local to a Baba Baby, so I just went with the Johnson & Johnson, which will be fine. 
Um, and then I got a travel Lysol spray. This has not been available for a while since the pandemic started. So I was really excited to find this. Um, I'm gonna use this like once we actually get to our resort and kind of sanitize everything in the room. Also, Clorox wipes have been hard to find, but they have made a comeback. I actually got five packs of these because um, typically like a half a pack to almost, cause there's only nine wipes in here. I'll probably use one whole pack when we actually get on the plane. Cause it takes a lot of wipes to wipe down the windows, the little window shade, all of the um, seats, the uh, belt buckles and the armrest and the tray table and just every little nook and cranny because Anaya will literally touch it all. So it just takes a lot. So I got basically one pack is for the plane, um, the round trip for the plane. And then um, we got probably like another pack to a pack and a half for our actual room and then our nanny's room and then I got like an extra pack but all five of these will probably definitely be used up um, on a trip. Also got some makeup removal wipes. I don't know how much makeup I'm actually going to wear in Jamaica because it's hot out there and if I try and have on a cake the face but I got them just in case and then I showed you guys these already in the last vlog. I freaking love these. You already got your toothbrush and your toothpaste. They actually have one that comes with toothbrush, toothpaste. Actually, no, I think I got it off of the Amazon. Toothbrush, toothpaste, and a mini mouthwash, but Target didn't have it, so I got our own little mini mouthwash. I also got a bar of soap. The hotel will have some, but sometimes theirs isn't the best. I also always bring some, um, a small bottle of Dawn just to wash out when Anaya was little, her bottles, but now her sippy cups and any like cups and snack containers and stuff that we might have for her. Also got two things of travel wipes. One I will keep in my purse for, um, you know, like if she needs to be uh, changed on a plane or in the airport. And the other one we will use, um, you know, throughout the stay. And this is, it's only 18 wipes. This will be, both of these packs will be enough while we're there. I also got this, um, it's a change in charge diaper dispenser bag so that when we change our diaper in our room, the diaper doesn't stink up our room. Um, I was looking for an actual disposable diaper genie. I've had one of those before and those are amazing, but these are just like, you know, bags. Then I also got some Purell wipes and some Purell hand sanitizer. I really don't know why I needed both. I probably don't need both, but I was just excited to see these back in stock. I actually like using the wipes on Anaya's hands versus the actual um, hand sanitizer because this, I feel like her hands dry immediately. This one, I feel like it takes her a while and I don't want to put her to put her fingers in her mouth and stuff like that. Then I got some spray deodorant. Spray deodorant. Henry and I will just both use this. And then <clears throat> this is not a <clears throat> this is not a tra travel mini, but I also got some tanning oil. I don't even know if I'ma like this tanning oil. Um, I also have, which I didn't need travel minis for, I also have like a Naya sunscreen, her insect repellent spray, um, and just like other toiletries that are not here. So let's go ahead and start packing. I'ma grab some Ziploc bags because a lot of this stuff is gonna go in Ziploc bags. All right, so this is the suitcase that we use. Um, I can use this suitcase for both Anaya and I. I'll use this side, I'll put Anaya's stuff in that side, and it's plenty space. And then I've just been laying out all her clothes here. I am determined not to overpack, so let me show you guys what I packed for her. Um, so we actually have one more, um, this is a like a large gallon size Ziploc bag. I have it with our snacks. Um, Henry's at Target right now getting her another set of snacks and I'm gonna add it to the snacks that I already have. And then I'll bring it up here and pack it. But, and this is her little toiletries that I just showed you guys. All of her sandals. I actually gotta find the other pink sandal. So once I find that, then yep, all of her sandals are here. And then this is going to be more like cute clothes, like things that she'll actually wear to dinner when we want her to um, look nice. We're going to be there for four nights. So I got her, I'm packing her four sets of pretty much everything. So these are like the nicer clothes, not like things that she'll wear around the pool. These are the more casual clothes like shorts and t-shirts and little like spandex biker shorts, jean shorts, stuff like that. Um, 
this is going to be like, you know, if we wake up and just need to go to breakfast or if we're going to have like a casual lunch on the beach where she can't wear her swimsuit, then that's what this is for. I also packed all of her swimsuits. I think it's like five swimsuits here and then the little terry cloth um, zip up that I showed you guys in a previous vlog. I got her four or five sets of um, pajamas here for her to sleep in and then I have um, four overnight diapers. Um, so yeah, these are the diapers that she wears at night. I still need to pack her regular diapers. We actually have to buy some more, so still need to pack her regular diapers on the day of. I mean, she obviously sleeps with her sound machine at night, so on the day of, I will pack her sound machine, and then her pack and play, um, is already in my car, so I'll just have to convert that to Henry's car for us to take to the airport and then the last thing that I need to pack is an umbrella stroller um, we are not going to bring her big stroller like the one that we typically um, are vlogging with or the one that you typically see us with um, that one's just way too big nobody got time for that okay <laughs> so I'm going to bring her umbrella stroller which we specifically purchased for travel it'll probably be so thin that I can probably just pop it into the suitcase um, so I'm gonna put that in the suitcase as well and that should be it for Anaya. I still have to actually wash all of my new clothes that I plan on taking. Um, so then I'll pack my side. But I probably, again, won't show you guys that. Just because you've already seen um, nearly everything that I'm bringing, okay? So, um, yeah. I'm about to actually wash out this conditioner. And then blow dry my hair. And then um, later on, like I said, I'll be going So it is now Sunday. Yesterday you saw me getting my hair done. They did an amazing job. Like I am, ouch, oh my God, my hair is a little tender. I'm a little obsessed with the quality. Yes, honey, like they, they braided this head, okay? And it's so funny, I started out with one lady doing my hair and then this other lady, she finished her client. So she came over and worked on my hair. So it was two ladies working on my hair. And then this other lady, she finished her client. So then it was three ladies working on my hair. I was like, yes, honey. I went to um, Hair For You in Baltimore. Um, I will link their Instagram down below. They were not that expensive um, as far as knotless braids can go. Because you know, knotless braids can get really pricey. Um, yeah, they were not very expensive. They did an amazing job. The quality is outstanding and it's really, really long. I was supposed to get waist length, but they really like come all the way past my butt. So really long, but yeah, really satisfied and happy with their work. Um, but yeah, so today's Sunday and I am finishing up vacation prep for today so hair is done i'm about to go to my nail appointment um uh, well not my nails nails i am getting a pedicure so i'm getting an hour and a half long pedicure as normal love it love it love it and um and then what and then after my nail appointment i have to go straight to cvs and do my covid test and then once i come back home um we're actually going to top golf today that's going to be in a separate vlog but I'm gonna come back home and right before we head out to Top Golf, Henry's gonna get his COVID test done um, and then that'll be all of the vacation prep we are doing, okay? So if you are excited to hang with me on this Sunday with my knotless, yes, give me knotless, give me braids, honey. Um, then yeah, just keep on watching this video. <laughs>
I just got my toast done and I'm pulling up to CVS now to um, do my COVID test. COVID testing left lane only. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Yes, Shalonda Hunt. All right, we'll be right with you, okay? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. All right, she just came over and gave me my instructions on what to do. All right, let's do this. Okay. What the hell? Okay. Test swab. Oh gosh. 